Greetings from Arena Yerushalayim. You know, every parent has a voice. It's the standard voice that they use to communicate with their children. It could be a little softer, a little sharper, a little bit more pleasant, yelling, a little bit more, a little bit less, but there's a standard that the kids come to expect. This is how mommy and daddy speak. And the litmus test is if we have to make a major change, if a child gets yelled at for running into a street, for example, a young child, and they get a, a harsh talking to, what's the reaction of the child when they get yelled at? Is it something that clearly shows us to them that they are thinking that oh, this is unusual, this is something, this is different. When Yaakov walks in to steal the bracha from his uh, brother Esav, so his father Yitzchak says the iconic line, Hakol kol Yaakov, the voice is the voice of Yaakov, v'hayedayim yedei Esav, but the hands are Esav's. Rashi explains he wasn't talking about the sound of the voice, they were twins, they always sounded the same. It was the way Yaakov was speaking, it was kind, it was pleasant, it was sweet. He said, this is strange, it feels like I'm talking to Esav because of his hands, but the way you're talking, it's different than usual, it sounds like Yaakov. And that's the great lesson to all of us, that there should be a standard way of speaking that's pleasant, and that if it ever shifts, and it get, we yell at a child for something, which they often need every once in a while, that they should have a reaction. What's up? What's different? Why did that happen? If they're not having that reaction, it's a sign that it's too often, and that the language we're using, the type of voice that we have, is one that is sharper and harsher than we want. Have a great Shabbos.